Johnny. You seem upset today. What's the matter? Well, I just didn't get math. That's all. Well, tell me more. Maybe I can help you. I've got a case of the operation blues Because I don't know which one I should use Look at the word problem Why? For the clue The clue? The key word, so you had to choose They do Each means you multiply Or you must divide Trying to find the total Then you multiply Total's in the problem Then you must divide Clear it is Not with the solve It will draw it Get it right Get it right Addition's easy for me and you Yeah, right Summing all together in total two When do you subtract? I don't know. How many more? You will let this difference in the score. Oh, I get it. Place values next, just go on the desk. Hundreds and tens, hundreds to the left. Thousands and thousands, hundreds. Thousands, say the name of the place, yeah. The value's the amount of the place. For example, 2006. The value of the two is two, zero, zero, zero. Value of the six is six, zero. When you round, find, and underline the place oh. Spotlight to the right, aside the digits fate Five or more at one, to the rounding place Four or less or nothing but walk away, estimate A pen, penny is one, one cent A nickel is five, a dime is ten cents Twenty-five for a quarter, George Washington Hundred cents makes a dollar, there he goes hey, again George. For pictographs, you gotta check out the key you do. One smiley face might really equal three oh. For bar graphs, pay attention to the scale, the scale. Think it's counting by ones, huh, you'll fail I will Fractions are easy, just draw your best I disagree Here they go from least to greatest All right. One twelfth, one sixth, one fourth, one third one half, two thirds, three fourths, a fraction nerve. That was easy. You see that number on top? Uh -huh. That's called the numerator. Oh. It describes the amount that is being considered. And when you jump down jump. from the fraction bar denominator, it's the total number of equal parts. Let me give you an example. All right. Leslie Moyne has some coins a total of nine. Two happen to be pennies, while seven are dimes. What's the fraction of dimes? How many coins? Nine. How many dimes? Seven. Say the fraction seven nine. Playing times with this area. Oh. The distance around this perimeter. Break down the geometry. Three sides makes a triangle. Four sides quadrilateral. Five pentagon. Six hexagon. Eight octagon. Ten decagon. Lines that never cross. Parallel. Lines that meet or cross. Intersecting. Lines that form right angles. Perpendicular. Same shape, same size. Congruent. Line that cuts in half. Symmetry. Up and down. Vertical. Left to right. Horizontal. An angle less than right. Acute. An angle open wide. Ninety degree square corner. Right angle. Back, back to two. What? Triangle. Oh. Three sides the same. Equilateral. Two sides the same. Isosceles. No sides the same. Hey, that's a scaling, right? So that's it, Johnny. That's it. That's our math song. Oh. But before we leave, remember to read your math problems three times before you answer. Three times. That way you know what the problem is asking you to do. Don't be lazy. I won't. Be brilliant. Okay. Peace like a fraction. <laughs> Peace like a fraction. I get it. Okay, thanks. Bye. You see that number on top? That's called the numerator. Gosh, I didn't know math could be so much fun.